So just um, looking uh, quickly at the context uh, for the delay that we're looking at, and I'm sure for all of you practicing in this area, um, as well as all of those who just uh, follow basic uh, current events and uh, headline news, it'll be no surprise that the backlog in terms of UK VI decision making, and particularly as we're going to be looking at today in regard to asylum claims, uh, is uh, an enormous backlog uh, and huge amount of delay. It's the worst it's ever been. Uh, and there's no immediate signs that that's going to improve, despite promises by the government and ministers. In terms of looking at the, the figures and statistics, the House of Commons Library published a report or a briefing on asylum delays in March of this year. And I've just provided the link because it's uh, quite useful in terms of charting the developments and the delays. So for anyone who wants to uh, read that briefing in full. But just to summarize the key points, at the time of the briefing, so earlier this year, uh, the statistics were there were more than 166,000 people waiting in for an asylum decision. Uh, and of those, the vast majority, so 161,000, were waiting for an initial decision. And then there was a much smaller number who were waiting for the outcome of a further review. And so in terms of the uh, reasons behind this backlog and delay, um, there's a separate set of statistics that also um, are captured by the Home Office's Migration um, Transparency uh, Collection. Um, and that data seems to suggest itself a number of things. Um, uh, uh, primarily, it does suggest that it's really home office productivity that's been going down uh, as opposed to any other uh, figures. But of course, the government themselves would say that there is a significant backlog, that asylum decision making is taking too long uh, and that the backlog is too high. Um, but they would point to factors other than purely productivity, although they might attribute part of the problem to that. Um, and so the government would also indicate that the increase in the backlog and delays are because of an increase in the number of asylum applications. And they would also point to the complexity of some of the, the claims, as well as uh, decreasing casework productivity.